Hey guys, I'm Elad, and in this short experience, I will try to cover one of the most common questions we got uh, from users. What surfaces I can use in order to paint with smart tracing and what sizes? So let's get started. Uh, the quick answer is you can paint on any square or rectangle surface that has darker background surrounded the corners. And as long as the camera sees all four corners, you are good to go. Our go-to surfaces, six inch by six inch uh, paper that comes with our uh, greeting card set, eight inch by eight inch uh, canvas that comes with our acrylic set. But you can definitely do whatever you want in any other experience. For example, you can go smaller, um, five inch by five inch, or even two inch by two inch experience. You can go even with, uh, where is it? Here we go, a sticky note. It works perfect, as long as you place it on a darker surface. But what about larger surfaces? This can go as well. All you have to do is to extend the neck of the device stand provided for members or the one you can find in the art sets, in the art sets and you're good to go. Um, the taller the stand, the bigger, the larger uh, the view of the camera, and therefore you can paint and see larger surfaces just like 10 inch by 10 inch surface that I painted here, or the biggest we've done so far, 12 inch by 12 inch. Um, as we move forward and cameras are getting better, we will introduce bigger surfaces. But for now, if you place uh, something uh, like a book below uh, the stand, I believe you can paint even on a larger surface than what I've done here. Uh, what about types? So we discussed um, paper, we discussed canvas. You can go to the experience page, go back when I finish, press tools, and you will find here five PDFs to print. Um, and as you can see here, I printed a letter and you can paint on. So basically any letter size, whether you print to create the borders or even if it's clean, just place it on a table and the app will recognize the surface. In terms of what other types, you can use glass. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be uh, a fabric or have to be a paper. You can use even wood. Um, you can use wood in order to, uh, as a surface. By the way, when I use the glass, I placed white paper below so the camera can recognize the corners. You can also use a rectangle. This is a brand new feature we've just introduced. Uh, and let me show you how it works. When you go to any experience you start, uh, the default is to project a square. I'll go here, choose um, a text that I wrote, surfaces I can paint or surfaces I can use. I go trace, the app will search for the surface to paint on. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this sketchbook, which is an A5 sketchbook. I will position it below and as you can see the camera finds four corners and superimpose the layout what the camera does it stretches the layout throughout the corners what we've just developed is a cool new feature that enables you to make it in a perfect square dimension in the center although you work on a rectangle and it doesn't end here you can also press drag and move the layout around. It's, you can uh, zoom in, zoom out, play with it, see how cool it is. And basically can create a very personalized artwork designed on your rectangle or any other surface. So if you go to any other experience out there, card or acrylic, whatever, and we use smart tracing, you can use any surface you'd like, uh, whether it's small, or larger, whether it's um, a book or wood. This is a cool example, uh, an experience that we've just launched uh, last week. Uh, both Haley and I painted uh, two artworks, same artwork, but two different surfaces. One uh, 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 paper square and one A5, uh, um, also a very thick 300 milligram uh, watercolor um, surface. So generally speaking, as long as the camera sees the corners, you are good to go. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.